do this guy and that guy. Because remember, A or A, what do you get there? You get A. So we can get rid of one of those guys. And what it looks like is this. There you go. Okay. So, yes, it seems like we're overcomplicating things here, but trust me, guys, this is this is leading up into something here. But um, look what's going on here. This is a sum, 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 sum of product, 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 product. There we go. Sum of products. Okay. So let's move on here. Now, a standard SOP expression includes product terms for all variables in the domain. Okay, because now check this one out here. A, not B, C, or not A, not B, or A, B, C, D. Let's make that a not C. Okay, so what's the domain? It's A, B, C, D. Notice the first term is missing the D. Notice the second term is missing the C and D. So we have to fix this. We use this expression here. Because you remember, A or not A is always equal to 1. We can multiply by 1 and not change anything. Okay, so let me show you what this means. Let's just take our first term, A, not B, C. We're going to multiply that times 1, in this case, D or not D. So we haven't changed anything. And what do we get? So that's equivalent to the first term. This guy is equivalent to that first term because we just multiplied by 1. Now let's try the second term. Okay, second term has got not A, not B. So it's missing C and D. So let's just try C at first. So we can always multiply. So it's missing C and D. And there's no reason why I'm picking C first. I could do D first, whichever one I want to. So if it's missing C, we can multiply times 1, in this case, C or not C. So that's that's equivalent to this. But now we got to take this, because it's still missing D, and multiply that times 1. So you got to do your, uh, your FOIL method here, and you're going to get and there you go. And this is all equivalent because we multiplied it by 1 and multiplied it by 1 again. It's all still equivalent to our second term right there. So now we can take our reworked first term, which is where? This guy. And our reworked second term. And our third term had all of our domains. So just add those both together, add, add all three of those together, and we're going to get our standard sum of product terms which is where every product term is represented with every variable in the domain. And what we're going to get for our standard sum of products to, uh, so sum of products expression is this right there, which is this is our expression for the first term. This is our expression for the third term, excuse me, second term. And this is our unchanged third term. If we've done everything correctly, each product term is equal to 1 for only one possible combo of inputs. Okay, let's illustrate how this works. So let's take this new first term. Given A, 1, B was a 0, but a not B would be 1. So 1, 0, and then a C1, D1. So 1, 1, 1, 1, that would give us a 1 right there, OK? Because a not 0. So now 1, not 0, 1, not 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. 
give us a one. So basically, each one of these things is a unique combination of binary values that'll give you a one for the whole expression as a result. So here's an example that I'm going to show you in this in the standard sum of products form, and you get to give me which binary combinations will give you a one. There you go. So not x, y, z, or x, not y, z, or x, y, not z, or not x, y, not z, or x, y, z. So the first one is going to be a 0, 1, 1. That's going to give you a 1. The next one is going to be 1, 0, 1. That's going to give you a 1. 1, 1, 0. I'm, I'm speaking in terms of x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 0, because not z is equal to 1. Again, x would be 0, y would be 1, z would be 0. And for this final term, 1, 1, 1. So the binary combos that would give me a 1 as a result for this entire expression are x, y, z, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. That's the reason why the standard sum of products term, uh, sum of products expression, is the way you express these things. You can get all possible combinations of binary values that will give you a 1 as a result. Okay, so that was the SOP. We're going to move on to POS, which is not a different acronym for something else. It is the product of sums, which if we are using our thinker, it sounds like it's OR gates and it together. Okay, so let's talk about that in the next lecture.